Welcome to another video of 30 Days to Duke. I'm Bella and today we're here with Dean Ashby and Dean Ravi. For the incoming first years, what's something that they wouldn't necessarily know about you? Oh, you go first. <laughs> <laughs> my ringtone on my phone is the Harry Potter theme song. No. <laughs> right now, if you call my phone, you would hear the Harry Potter theme song. Right. <laughs> so I enjoy, I enjoy reading young adult fiction and science fiction. So, uh, because my son recommends books for me and he's a freshman at Duke, by the way. I don't know that everyone would know how big of a competitive sports fan I am. Really? Uh, uh, I love sports. Yeah. I am a sports so now junkie. now she's making me look like a nerd. No, 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 no. I am an absolute sports junkie. Uh, it's basketball, obviously here at right. Duke, it's a good place to be. But I love football, I love, uh, you already know this, I'm a huge NASCAR fan. Yep. Golf, tennis, you name it. I yeah. love competitive sports. Do either of you guys have any pets? Well, we just got a puppy. It's like having another kid all over again. Yep. Uh, yeah. So her name's CJ and she's 12 weeks old and she's a golden doodle um, and it's amazing the effect she's had on all of us in the family oh, so it's been amazing to have her here. So one of my uh, colleagues who um, is in the evolutionary anthropology department, uh, Brian Hare, he works on puppies. Right. And so we built a puppy lab and they named a doggy after me in hopes that I will, Wait, they will grow on sorry. me. And they bring the puppy named after me to visit in hopes that I am going to warm up to this. <laughs> so. no. What is on your car radio right now? Oh, that's interesting. Uh, you go first. <laughs> For me, it's always the same answer. We always turn to NPR, you know? Oh, <laughs> so yeah. when we were joking when we were pregnant with our daughter and son that they would be confused about who the dad is and think there's Bob Edwards. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> they would keep hearing NPR. Uh, so that's what we do. I mean, I find the, uh, even in the gym, I listen to NPR, yeah. so. I love two kinds of music, particularly it will always be either some version of gospel music that okay. I love or some version of jazz. I love it. I can read an academic paper and have that in my ears. Yeah. Or I can be on the elliptical and have that in my ears. Yeah. It's the first thing I turn on when I wake up in the morning and it's probably the last thing I hear. Yeah. Yeah. Can you tell us what freshman year was like for you and oh my. who you were <laughs> that year? Oh my. Oh, so these guys are so far in front of where I was in their <laughs> thinking and their being and their maturity. I grew up in a small town in North Carolina mm -hmm. and I knew I was going to be a chemistry major, right? That thing that, that we do, yep. right? Um, I'm glad that they proved it to me that that was the case. Um, I loved it from moment one, but I did not have this sense of expansiveness, mm -hmm. right, of really thinking about who, who might I become? Like, what, what do I need to learn that I don't already know? Mm -hmm. One thing I'm happy about is I had no clue what I was going to do with that degree. So all of those options were open to me. I had no idea I was going to be a faculty member, none of that. It worked out just it, fine. Exactly. But, but, uh, which is also what I tell my present students, don't worry about it. Right, it'll it work It actually out. will work out. <laughs> like yeah. it, there, it, the stress that they put themselves under to know the future is too much and it never works out that way and it always works out better. Right. <laughs> so if they would just hold on, it will be okay, so yeah. yeah. No, I had a great experience in college and uh, grad school, and so I never left. I'm always in it. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> exactly. So, no, I mean, my, my freshman year, I was, I'm an undergrad biomedical engineer, and to me, it was mind-blowing to look at the human body from an engineering perspective, uh, not just from a biology perspective, to see how we work as a system. So that was great, discovering my field, uh, which was made for me, I think. Uh, the other part about it is I played a lot of sports, actually. <laughs> so in college, so um, I grew up in India, so I played cricket for my college. I, I, I tried out for the team and made the college team, which was awesome as a freshman. Just discovering being away from home and uh, making friends and things. And to this day, these are my best friends that I made in freshman year. I would echo the friendship piece. Mm the incoming students should not miss the people in their class. Yeah. My freshman roommate is still one of my very best friends. You know, the friends that they're going to make when they all live together on East Campus, That's it's right. going to be amazing. These will be your lifelong friends. Yeah. And so really 
putting as much effort into the relationships that they're building. As Robbie has mentioned, this entire kind of life education piece, don't miss that relationship piece. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for taking the time to speak to incoming first years and me. That concludes another video of 30 Days to Duke. We will see you tomorrow. Welcome to Duke. Welcome.